Hey everyone, it's Mike here. And sorry for the long break since the uh, last video, which was on the uh, Radio Master Zorro, but uh, there hasn't been too much new FPV stuff in the last few months that I've been uh, too interested in, so I haven't really uh, had any cause to make a video about anything. And especially right now with the whole um, digital FPV market in flux, let's say, with the uh, maturing HD Zero system, and then also Walk Snail and Fat Shark with the Avatar HD system coming out, and then maybe even DJI with the V3, uh, things are changing a lot, and I think in the next few months I'll probably decide on one of those new systems. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to fly my current analog and DJI system. And also, what we're looking at here, which is a, uh, a hand launch or a DLG, Discus Launch Glider. This is something I used to do years ago, and this is a model called an ELF. This is really small. This is a 1 meter, uh, super lightweight, 110 gram uh, DLG. These are actually made in the Ukraine. So uh, good luck to them over there. Hopefully they can uh, keep going. And so the way these work is there's a little blade that you can install on the left or right side, depending on which uh, hand you like to throw with. And you hold it by the side like this, and you can either do like a kind of a casual, like a sidearm launch, and get it to a certain height in the air, or do a full spin, like a discus launch, and get it even higher up into the air. It's still learning, but uh, anyway, I can still get a decent launch in. And uh, actually today caught my first real thermal, which is when uh, you just are able to fly the plane into rising air currents, and the plane just goes up and up as you're flying it around. It's really satisfying, really fun to do. And this is a really good, simple uh, beginner model. It just has rudder and elevator, no ailerons on this, so only two channels to worry about. And I'm flying it on uh, ELRS with a really neat little receiver, which I'll show you here. And I'll show you how the uh, servos work. We simply just have the nose cone taped on. And just have to replace this tape every once in a while. So here I have a little 1S300 battery. And just a little bit of nose weight right here. So there's a 1S300. And here are two little digital servos. Might help if I let me power it on. So let's plug the battery and I'll show you the receiver. It's under the wing here in a second. So should it be powered on? So there you go. There's the rudder working left and right. And then the rudder is usually on the left stick. But since this is just two channel, I have the rudder on the right stick. And then the elevator. See, it's full flying ele elevator. It's going up and down. And then the rudder, and then you can see the... The servos moving in there. Really simple. And then um, this is a, a Maytech uh, ELRS receiver. And this receiver has something in it called a Vario, which will tell you whether the plane is going up or going down based on this, uh, based on there, I guess there's a barometer built in. And you can have a sound on the, on the radio playing. And if the plane is going up, it'll beep in a certain way. And if it's going down, it'll beep in another way. So it sounds like this. And if the plane is going up, it should raise in pitch. I should lower in pitch as it goes down. Yeah, so it works pretty well. So that's a little look at the uh, internals of this. And I would assume I could fly for probably at least up to an hour or more on this little 1S. And I ordered this from a place called Kennedy Composites. I think they're in Texas, uh, if you're interested in something like this. But I'll be back with more FPV stuff uh, as new stuff comes out. And like I said, I'll be keeping an eye on the new digital systems. Uh, but th that's it for now. And uh, here's some me just uh, flying around a bit. Uh, if you want to look at that. 